Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny, and today I've got a special dish for you here on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. We are going to make a tequila lime salmon. First thing we're going to do in going here is we're going to take our salmon filet, and I'm just going to pat it dry a little bit. I'm going to dry it off. This is a center cut salmon filet that I picked up today. Skin on. I do like the skin. If you don't like the skin, you can have them fillet it off for you, but I do, so I kept it on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of curl it up. I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to cut thin little slits in this fish maybe down and go a half of an inch. I'm going to move over, do the same thing again. Not too deep, about every quarter to three-eighths of an inch. This is going to help us cook all the way through. It's going to get some seasonings in the middle of this fish, and it also is going to help to crisp up the skin. There we go. It's looking good. And come all the way over here to the end and slice it right there. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to kind of open these fillets up and drop some seasoning down in there. And all this is is salt, pepper, and garlic. This is going to be kind of a Spanish-style, Mexican-style fish we're doing today. So I want to get some flavor down in these little cuts that we made. Season that up. I'm going to roll it over. And now I'm going to season the top. That seasoned up, ready to go. Let me get my pan ready, and we'll show you how we cook this up. We get our skillet on here. Add a little olive oil to it. There we go. Don't need a whole lot. That looks like about enough olive oil in there. And we're just going to take this till we start to see a nice shimmer on that oil until it's good and hot. This is getting good and hot, so I'm going to put in my salmon. Gonna kind of hold the sides down so it doesn't want to curl up. Of course, those slits are gonna help it not curl also. Let that start cooking. You can see the color is about two thirds of the way up. On that salmon, if we look at it, it's about two thirds, getting close to three fourths of the way through. So now I'm gonna take my salmon. Lift it up and carefully turn it over. Now you can tell my skin is nice and crispy on the bottom. That's looking pretty. It won't take but maybe two, possibly three minutes on this side and this is going to be ready. This salmon's about done so I'm going to lift it up out of here. Use my fish spatula. Now I'm going to show you how we make the tequila lime sauce. Our pan's really good and hot. It's got some oil left in it from the, from the salmon. And I'm just going to melt a little butter in it to go with that. And on top of that, I'm going to put some onions. I have some minced up onions, about a tablespoon. Drop that in. Start sauteing those up real well top of my onions, I'm going to drop some thinly sliced jalapenos. There they go. 
Gonna add a little heat to this. And we're gonna cook this just to these jalapenos, and they're they're just real, real thin, about thin as I could slice them. Once they start getting soft, then we're gonna add in our garlic. Always add the garlic last because it will burn on you. And I've got four good cloves of garlic, probably a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more. Garlic's in. What goes in next is our tequila. We got a Puro Vida, and this is the Anejo, is what it is. And we have some silver here also, but we are going to use the uh, the red label tonight, the Anejo. And I tell you what, this is a 100% uh, pure agave tequila. It is it is good stuff. And uh, I understand Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top is the owner of this company. Uh, my son's the one that started getting this. It's great. I like to cook with it more than I like to drink it. But I tell you what, it does put some some great flavor. This is cooling down. It's looking really good. I'm going to cut that heat back some more. And I'm probably going to put about a quarter cup of this tequila in there. Now, be very, very careful. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about a quarter cup in my container here. Sit that down because you could get a flambe. Let's just turn this off because this tequila is pretty potent. So it's in. And we're going to cook that tequila off. Plus, you know, there's a lot of heat in this cast iron steel, even though the fire's off. But that's looking good. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of our salt, pepper, garlic in there. Just a touch of cumin. That's looking good. Now I'm going to pour in my uh, lime. And in my lime juice, what I have is, is I have the juice of two small limes and the zest from one of them. So we've got a lot of flavor going into this sauce that's going to go up on top of our salmon. Turn our flame back on. I don't want it real hot because we're going to add some more butter to kind of thicken it up in a second. But I do want to cook off the alcohol and just leave the flavor in here. Let this quit sizzling. And to also help it cool is I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of butter. And this is going to help cream up this sauce some. Just let this butter slowly melt into the sauce. Give our pan sauce a, a taste. Oh yeah, that's excellent. Let's get this plated up, show you how it looks. I already have some rice peel off on my plate. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take my salmon, put it right up on top, and I'm going to make some of this tequila sauce with the jalapenos and the onions and the lime. Drizzle it across the top. And there we go. We have our tequila lime salmon sitting up on top of a bed of rice pilaf and I tell you what I'll put the link for my rice pilaf down below it's the way I make it. it's it got a little bacon a little onion it's a little uh, Texas style rice pilaf got a little kick to it steps up for you but we're gonna serve it like that and tonight we're also gonna serve it with some shrimp I have some wonderful grilled shrimp that we're gonna put up here with it so we can put those on the plate They are beautiful grilled shrimp, big 10, 15 jumbos. So there you have it, tequila lime shrimp. Only thing left to do now is to sample this salmon, see how it turned out. Move that shrimp out of the way. That salmon is nice and flaky. I can hear the, I can hear the uh, skin crunch underneath as I'm cutting it. That is great. That is great. The salmon is flaky, the skin is crusty, and it, it has a wonderful flavor with that, with that tequila and the lime. The jalapenos have just enough heat to just give it a nice depth of flavor. Mmm. Sauce is great. I'm about to try one of my shrimp dipped down in that sauce. 
Mm. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine tonight. Got a little different name. I know there's something new for you. We switched from Texas Style Cuisine, just helping in some search results. But we are now Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine because we do a lot of barbecue, but we do a whole lot of other things also. So if you Sitting like my salmon dish tonight, go down there and give a thumbs up. up always do appreciate morning. those. Remember Making to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. And Tell your friends and your family about us, and we're going to see you Cookie down the road the on Texas and Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Away. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.